What's up? I'm the host. This is Dakota Hilton here, and this is the co-host. What's up? This is Twitch, and this is the Hilton's Highlights Podcast. And we have my uh, friend and uh, very funny comedian, uh, Mick Rice Hall. Hi, everybody. Super happy to be here. What's up, man? So, uh, I guess we'll just uh, get into it. Uh, wh- when's the first time you, you remember uh, seeing me, and like, what's the first thing you, you remember about me? Man, <laughs> I, man, I, you know, it was probably honestly in high school, but I don't remember too much from high school. Uh, but it was probably the comedy club, you know. Yeah. Do we, you, yeah, I thought you were a nice guy. Nice, <laughs> do you do you remember like at all seeing me perform anything like? Because at the beginning, you would have saw me when I was like super fat too, at the beginning. Yeah. Kinda, I guess. I kind of remember some of your stand up. A lot of marijuana. No, yeah, dude, there's, I'm really faded all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, no, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, I love the comedy club. But that's, I, like, I'd always, when you'd work there, too, you were, like, one of my favorites in the kitchen, you and Mike, I'd always go back there. It'd probably get annoying, because I'd, like, go back there all the time, to, I feel like, talking to you, trying to talk to you, saying dumb stuff. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, back and forth. No, it was a yeah. good time. I liked the comedy club. Yeah, it's a, do you still work in the kitchen up there sometimes? Every once in a while I do. I like nice. uh I liked it, man. My favorite thing was uh I don't know, be a good little story, you know, whenever I do make it or something, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh yeah. it'd be cool cuz I remember going working in the kitchen and then doing like guest spots on the show. So I would start the kitchen rush and then I'd stop as before the you know when the host went up, I'd go get ready and put my other clothes on. And then I'd go up, do five, seven minutes, and then go back in the kitchen, and it's like nothing ever happened, you know, back to reality. <laughs> but it was really cool to just to be able to do that kind of stuff. Mo, Mo is crazy at doing that, too. Mm-hmm. She would always kill. Yeah. Like, oh, geez. man. I didn't, and that's crazy. I didn't know this. Mo was actually on the first time I ever did, like, a rap show. Mm-hmm. She was there. She did, like, a granny thing. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know Gerald Hudson. Hudson. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah, I think I might be saying that wrong. Uh, I think it's... I'm not gonna mess it up, but, <laughs> but he, uh, yeah, he was throwing that, and that was before he like actually blew up as a uptown arts bar. But uh, what was the first show you you did there that like that you actually got put on for like a bigger name for the comedy club? Yeah. Oh man, I think it was. It would have either been Chris Cope or J C Carias was one of my first weekends at the club. Which was kind of weird because Chris Cope and J.C. Carias are roommates. That's so, crazy. But I got both of those weekends. Yeah, it was Chris Cope. I think I worked with Chris Cope first. I think our first show there was Jason Mewes. Jason Mewes? Yep. Mm-hmm. And then we saw uh, A.J. Wilkerson. That's when he was, you know, did that stuff. And oh, yeah. It's crazy. And then it's crazy he moved, moved up here or whatever. And, you know, I got to see him a lot. That's pretty cool. And I was touring with Burt Kreischer. He's literally going to be the next one that blows up I yeah think, for sure definitely they're they're pushing him pretty hard no there's a lot of good things got a lot of good uh people coming out of kc doing big things i think well and with the super bowls getting a lot i think that gets us a lot of attention so i mean every weekend this this like summer mm-hmm. there's like 10 things like the there's something at the t-mobile the truman at you know freaking Midland, up down, yeah. like it, everything's booked all the time. Oh, there's so much to do in Casey. I mean, dude, they're they're building houses. They can't fill them. You know, they can't build them fast enough. They fill up so quick. People are moving here like crazy. You know, it's just cheaper to move here or live here or whatever. Which I don't blame them. But come on, <laughs> yeah. you're making everything, making my life more expensive. <laughs> so it's like I think we need to lose a couple or, couple Super Bowls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, speaking of the shows and stuff, though, because, you know, I booked, like, rap shows, and and I would try to, every once in a while, like, my friends would go on other shows up in the city. Uh, what, uh, did, have you got any, you know, beneficial contacts out of that from, from some of these bigger names, or even just going to the shows, seeing them after, talking to them? Have you, you know, really benefited a whole lot from any of that? I mean, either, gotta, even if I haven't benefited from, like, a, like, a... What networking standpoint, you know, like just hanging out with them, some of the advice you get, they'll just kind of, yeah. they'll drop little pieces of advice and it kind of helps you along the way. So I'm, I don't know, almost like a video game, like Legend of Zelda or something. You just talk to one person and it's like, boom, there it is. There's that hint. <laughs> yeah. You know how to move on to the next 
So it's like, it's been really cool. I, I'd say, like, you know, if I ever do go out to L.A., I know I can always hit up, like, J.C. or Chris Cope. J.C. remembers me. He came through again, you know, so, and he was ecstatic to see me. So that's really cool, you know. Yeah. It is, you do build relationships. So I do know that if I do go out somewhere, I can hit some people up and it may have a little connects. So I guess so, but I guess I won't find out until yeah. I need it. <laughs> yeah, and that's, yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't, like, really have like a whole ton of like success but we did like a lot of cool stuff like uh twisted insane we gotta drive him around what was probably been the coolest one that you think out of all the even just the people we smoked with there's opportunities that we got to do yeah well then it'd probably be perform on stage with jared ben so yeah well he did that that was because I mean, we always go like in high school we'd go like uh there'd be tours and uh like, you know, they'd be in St. Louis, Columbia, Kansas City, or wherever, we'd hit, like, all three of them. Uh -huh. And so, like, uh, as the Columbia show, you got to, yeah, you know Hobson? Uh-huh. So, like, the Fun Volume Tour, Jeremy Ben is, like, one of the people that's on Fun Volume. Yeah. So, yeah, it's cool. And then he did it again when he was in Lawrence at the Booby Trap, but uh -huh. there was, like, ten people there. It was, it was, uh... But the first time, there was, like, a thousand people, so it was, like, it was pretty cool to do that. Shoot, I mean, I guess if we're talking like that, I got, dude, there was Andy Dick. You guys remember Andy Dick coming through the club? Yeah, I saw. I wasn't. I didn't go, but. Yeah, I wasn't. Uh, he's like, he's really like, now he's, I don't think he's ever coming back after the charge he just got. <laughs> he got like sexual battery or something on some dude. And it's like, he's not coming back. But like, before all that, he, he came through the club and we went down to Westport with him. And went through all the bars and stuff and he shared his steak with us. I mean that. I mean, I guess that's all right. That's awesome. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> you know, it's like you. It's somebody. I, I remember watching Andy Dick. The first time I seen Andy Dick was on like, dude, where's my car? You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. He's in, dude, where's my car? It's kind of. So it's like you know, he is kind of crazy. Yeah, my you know, employee of the month. Employee of the month. Yeah. yeah. That's where I really like found out about Andy Dick. But then like you see all the other movies, and like I may have seen them, but that's where like that like, really that that role. Yeah. <laughs> that was. I don't know. One of my favorite movies. Did that. Yeah. And then, then there was some other people. What was it? That one uh, dude with the short dude with the mustache. He's got a real big dick or something. What's his name? He's like a... Oh, oh, Ron, Jeremy. Oh, Ron Jeremy. <laughs> Ron Jeremy. I had a couple of buddies that... Uh, you know Mitch Harmon? Yeah, yeah. Mitch Harmon and Jared Langley. I think both of them. They had to... They, he was at Stanford and Sons when they were still around. And so he came up, but Jared and, and Mitch, I think, had to drive him around all night, and they went to, like, a, like a bar, a MILF bar or something, and he picked up, like, two MILFs, and then they had to, like, sit in the ladies' like living room while Ron Jeremy dicked him down or something or whatever, <laughs> and then drove him back or something. So I remember them telling me that story, you know, and I guess that's all right, but... <laughs> all right, that would be crazy. I wish, <laughs> it's kind of yeah. weird. Like, what do you do? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> you want to play cards while Ron Jeremy's stuffing your mom or something, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the, working at the club, there were some cool ones. I didn't really try to, you know, because I was working there, so I didn't try too hard, and they'd rather have the good-looking girls go back to serve them most of the time so mm -hmm. unfortunately I only got to do a few of them but I mean I still obviously would see them and stuff like uh, Felipe Esparza was one of the coolest I got to smoke with too. Felipe like he was we were doing the roast battle just a couple weekends ago because he was just here yeah, yeah yeah he was just here and so we do it upstairs in that in the attic or the projection room mm -hmm. and so I start going up the stairs and I'm like it smells like weed <laughs> I'm like why does it smell like weed and I turn around the corner and I'm like it's because somebody's smoking weed <laughs> and it's Felipe and his group everybody that he was bringing and he just was like oh yeah sorry man and like passed me the joint and so we sat down and got to smoke with him before our roast battle yeah. so it was really cool like I've always wanted to work with that dude yeah. uh, I uh I helped get him some stuff for one of his friends. Really? Yeah. So he, I, he told me, like, because he told me when he's leaving the last time he's here, he's like, oh, I'll, I'll give you a guest spot the next time I'm here. But then I'm not working there, and plus, like, he's not going to respond back to, like, the, you know, obviously my messages. Sure. Like, so I'm like, I'm not even going to, like, I don't even care. It's just cool. Yeah. Like, the fact he even said that. So, right. Uh, but. Didn't you also get bring Shane Torres to the gym and work out? 
Yeah, so that was like before I really even had like full access to the gym, really. Uh huh. Like, uh, I tried calling my my coach, and he like he didn't answer. And like Shane Torres, he made a comment on stage that he's like, uh, my brother is an amateur boxer. So as soon as he got off stage, uh, I like, ran back to him. So your brother's an amateur boxer or whatever. And he's like, oh no, actually, like I box or whatever. And I was like, oh cool. I was like, well, I work at this gym. If you ever want to like. You know, if you want to spar next time you're in town or something. Uh-huh. And he's like, oh, yeah, well, we could, like, it's like, we're going to get a workout tomorrow or whatever. And so he, like, actually gave me his number, and he came and worked out with me the next day. And I just, like, I couldn't get a hold of my coach, like I was saying, and I just, like, I knew how to get in because I still worked there. But I was like, screw it. I'm just going to go do it. <laughs> and I went in there and trained him for an hour, and uh, he took me out to eat. And then I dropped him off at a coffee shop. So like, and he—that's the thing. He paid for an Uber over here mm-hmm. from Overland Park, and then paid me money, and then he bought my lunch. That's... So this dude paid like a hundred dollars for one hour of my personal training. <laughs> so I was like, I thought I felt pretty cool. That's cool though. I think yeah. I, re- I remember you posting about that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. And then he also posted the gym on his story, so that was that was cool. Yeah. So yeah, luckily, you know, my coach wasn't mad. See, honestly, that's the, so that's the cool stuff. I think you know. The shows are one thing, doing the shows are one thing, but like the best part is hanging out. Mm-hmm. It's the in between, like that I love. Like the driving, like if you carpool with a bunch of comedians to a, a t- out of town gig, and it's just the conversations you have, like you know, you just can't you can't make that stuff up. It's really cool. Yeah, yeah, I miss that. Uh, that was like honestly working at the club kind of like ruined me doing the comedy for the longest time because I was, I was like always there and around it, mm-hmm. and like plus the group I hung out with. You know they're going out a lot of times on the Fridays and Saturdays, and so it became like a thing where I just stopped going out all you know most of the time. So, but I, I need to get back to going to open mic. So you said you do run a couple shows and stuff now. Yeah, I run uh, I run a monthly show called Patio Goose, and that's at uh, that's at the Mockingbird Lounge on Strawberry Hill in KCK. I do that. Uh, I try to do it every second uh, Friday of the month. And that's always cool. Uh, and then I do a roast battle. We do a quarterly roast battle called, called Burnt Toast in the projection room at the Comedy Club of Kansas City. And that's been fun. It's been a wild ride. One of the f- most fun shows like we've ever produced. We've had a lot of good feedback on it. Yeah, I've always wanted to be a part of a roast battle. I want to roast, but I've also wanted to be roasted. <laughs> I want to, I'm going to do that for my birthday one of these years. Uh-huh. That's do a, a, a roast of Dakota Hilton. <laughs> or maybe not even for my birthday. I'm kind of a... Oh, who cares? But an attention whore, you'll do it anytime. Yeah, whatever you need, just let me know. We'll produce it. Yeah, yeah. I'll, uh, yeah, dude. That'd be fun. Well, uh, you got any shows? So, you got any sh- shows coming up out of town? Anything going on with that? Oh, yeah, I got some coming up. I know, uh, let's see. I'd have to look. Can I look? Yeah, you can go on. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, are you doing, like, any, you got any merch or anything right now? Have you made any at all? I've got stickers that I give out, um, and I've got, like, these denim napkins that I denim got. Denim napkins. Yeah, denim napkins, because it's like I always... Oh, like a handkerchief type thing? I type a deal, man, because I always, instead of using the napkin, I always wipe my hands on my jeans, right? So why don't I just get a napkin of <laughs> denim? Because it just, your napkins, don't, you don't get them, denim's the best thing to wipe your hands off with. Don't get me wrong, right? So denim napkins. I'm gonna make them myself, and they're a DIY little project. They're super sweet. <laughs> oh, you haven't? So you haven't made them yet? Not yet. <laughs> patent pending. Procrasti- patent. Yeah, patent pending. <laughs> 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 For sure. Man, I'm a. Uh, yeah, Patio Goofs is coming up next Friday, and then I'll be at the Comedy Club Funny Fridays, uh, Sundays at the uh, Off the Rails at Knuckleheads. I'll be there uh, June 18th, and then at the Rhino in. Uh, North Town at the Rhino. I'll, it's Catch a Try and Star on June 24th. Do you uh, ever go to the open mics at the Rhino? I, every once in a while, yeah. They're the closest ones, so like I'll, I'll go up every once in a while. That's actually what got me the job at the comedy club. Really? Well, actually, it was because I, I went on stage on Mushrooms at one time, <laughs> and that's where Dustin saw me. I was like tripping so hard, and like I literally went up there and didn't like really do anything, and I ended with. I'm so high. I don't know how I'm going to get home and like walk off stage. <laughs> and so like Dustin saw that and he came up to me. And he's like, like out on the thing. He's like, how are you doing? And I'm like, good. <laughs> he's, he's like, uh, I was like, oh, so you're on mushrooms. And he's like, yeah. I was like, yeah. He's like, well, you should have just kept going. And I was like, okay. So like, but he like, 
he saw me. So then the next, it was like a couple days later, uh, that Wednesday, he was at the thing, and I was outside, and I saw I said something to uh, Cameron, Cameron something, I can't think of his last name, uh, about possibly applying there, uh -huh. and he said something to Dustin, and Dustin's pretty much like, well, come up next time you're there on Thursday, and we'll talk about it, and they ended up hiring me, so. Nice. Yeah. I was also <laughs> on mushrooms at that time, so. <laughs> That's not bad. No, no. Uh, I don't do that anymore, though. No mushies? No, I'm I'm completely off all that. Yeah. Oh, man. I mean, it was, like, cool, and, like, I enjoyed it, and I still think it's cool if, like, other people want to do it, but I had, and it was doing it, I got to the point I was doing it a lot, and it just wasn't healthy, and I just don't want to live like that. It's like, I It's few and far between, and, you know, doing acid and shrooms it just takes a long time, and I don't have time like that anymore. You no, know, and, it, <laughs> dude, it just, it it's takes you out for shit. several days, too. Oh, yeah. It's a whole thing, and yeah. so I'm... I do it every once in a while. I used to do the whole Hunter S. Thompson type stuff. You know, like we used to be, we used to make our own DMT or extract the DMT. You don't make it. Mm -hmm. We used to ex extract that stuff. And like, I lived like five minutes away at this apartment complex and I'd go home. I'd go home, blast off. I had an hour for lunch, you know, and then I'd come back about 30 minutes later or something. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'd go back to work. I used to grow shrooms at that time too. And so when I grew, or grew them in the morning, I'd check on my little shrooms and when they start growing, I just eat a little freshie, bro. You know what I mean? Just eat one little freshie, just eat it. Whoop. And you never knew, man. The little ones, sometimes they got you going crazy. <laughs> That's the last time I like finally had like a whole thing was I had this whole, like, I got super drunk in Westport and I was hanging out with Mike actually and I went to stay back with him and we hung out and didn't go to bed till super late, woke up the next day, literally had like three hours of sleep. We are going to a Tech Nine concert, I got off to go to that. And we, I, we took mushrooms, and I only took like a gram, a gram and a half. And dude, I ended up having like a just a bad trip. And like it got to the point where we were down there, and Ritz started playing the song. It was like Bloody Murder or Call 911. Oh, <laughs> At the same time, someone like had yeah. a panic attack. And no, she was like tripping on acid or something. Woo! And yeah. she was like, and we go. So that's so the you thing. see the ambulance outside. No way. Yeah, well, and that's the thing. We're down in the pit too, and so it gets dark. And I'm literally just like looking at Dustin. I'm like, I need water. And then I, I'm like, no, I'm good. Like, I need water. No, I'm good. I need water. No, I'm good. And then literally, like, I just take off, I think, walk into the back and get water. And then this is the, the funny part. Uh, no, we you get said back. You, had, you ended up saying you had to go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah. So and, that's why we were going downstairs yeah. in the Midland. And we we're going downstairs in the Midland, and then. A freaking kid I went to high school with freaking comes up to me like yelling, drunk, screaming, screaming. and okay, and dude, he he smelled, he smelled really bad, smelled really, smelled really <laughs> bad, smelly guy. and so he puts his arm puts his arm around me and I'm oh, tripping, no. so like I'm like freaking out and then we go downstairs to the bathroom and like I'm freaking out like just trying to go to the bathroom and then luckily like. We, he goes to a stall or something, and me and my brother look at each other, and we're like, we gotta get out of here. <laughs> because, like, this is not a good situation. Then we, like, go upstairs, and it was not, it wasn't a good time. I ended up, so then after that, it took me, like, a week to get, like, back to normal. I was, like, when I just, like, stopped, because I was drinking a lot. Like, working when we're at the club, and they give you a free drink every shift, and yeah. then, you know, when you're doing the open mics, you know, uh, was it Club 401, 403? No, 906. Yeah, they have like <laughs> they have five dollar Long Islands. Oh, they were four twenty six. Yeah, not, oh wait, did you say nine nine oh three? Yeah, because there's Club nine oh six in Liberty though too. Uh -huh. you know what I'm saying I've done we did rap shows there and stuff back then. They still do shows there, I think actually sometimes. I don't know. Have you done a show there? Nine oh six. Oh. Are you talking about four or three club? Or four or three club? Four or three club. They have, they have, see, they're all you can't name them numbers. That's the <laughs> There's like the nine hundred six is the the bowling alley slash. Oh, the nine hundred six is salon like, salon one hundred fifty two. That's what I was talking about though. Oh, okay. Salon one hundred fifty two. Yeah. Oh, this probably doesn't make any sense. To you. <laughs> they're venues though. What's the salon? Biggest that's a hair show. That's a hair place. <laughs> What's the biggest show you've done? How many people? Mm. It would have either been, man, it'd be like 200 or 300, and uh, it would have been one of the clubs where it's like, it's, uh, I guess, I think, would have, it would have been one of the clubs. 200, 300, you know. I don't know. I'm going to just say 300. I guess. I'm just throwing out numbers. I no, don't I count them. I don't count <laughs> them when I'm up on stage, <laughs> you know? No, I, I did the same thing like when we did the Sesquish show. That was the biggest show I think I ever did. You know Sesquish? 
Yeah. Yeah, that one was the second show I did, and we had, dude, there was like 200 people. I didn't keep a count on it either. There was at a point also, like, I had so many tickets made, I'd just start giving out tickets at the end towards the shows just to try to, like, fill them out. And that one, though, there was a lot. Yeah, that thing was packed. Yeah, dude, it was, like, weird, too, because, like, people were... <laughs> yeah, people were, like, chanting, like, my friend's lyrics. I'm pretty sure that some people were singing, like, lyrics to my song. Mm -hmm. It was, like, crazy. I don't have video of it either. <laughs> Yeah, it would have been the but club with this one out in, it was in Centralia, Centralia, there was like 200 people out in this small town. The small towns, dude, that's, Very. dude, you gotta, if you play the small towns, those are the people that'll actually buy your stuff, too. They'll buy, they'll listen, dude, they love it, they appreciate it more, mm -hmm. because you know, there's not as much stuff out there, so, when you do come through, and I, I, I relative, I do pretty well out there, you know, so I feel pretty good about my material being versatile, yeah. or whatever. But yeah, I've not, I haven't done much more than that. We did. I mean, I've done a couple of theaters, but they weren't like sold out or nothing. You know what yeah. I mean? So the smaller towns also don't get that much content to come out there. Where nope. it's the people who live in the they city appreciate you more. It. They do. Yeah. They like you more. That's I sure appreciate them. <laughs> it makes me feel better. It's hard. Sometimes it's hard. City people are ruthless. Yeah. <laughs> you look like a guy that. Probably eats hot dogs as mac and cheese. <laughs> Me? Yeah, am I, am I right? Oh, gladly. <laughs> so you okay? So you have done it though. That's a meal. Okay, we yeah. I know, dude. We tell it to people; they don't understand. What about beanie weenies? You know what I'm saying? I love beanie weenies. Yeah, that's dude. A anything, dude. Anything with a hot dog, a glizzy. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. People think that like mac and cheese ain't a ain't supposed to be like a meal. Like, but I've always had mac and cheese with fish sticks. The fish sticks were the fucking side. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you been to the streetcar? Been to the streetcar? Dude, the oh, streetcar yeah. at the restaurant? Oh, I thought you meant the actual streetcar downtown. Like, yeah, I've utilized. Yeah, we, we know you ride the bus. <laughs> we can tell. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but no, the streetcar. It's over. Uh, where's it at? Which, hurry up, I gotta catch the bus out of here. <laughs> uh, I don't know, off 16th Street or something? Yeah, he, 13th? He shows to, you get it's to like right there in downtown across from Taps on Main. Man, I have oh, no. Main Street. I have what did you get there? The brisket mac and cheese one? Uh, I don't know. They just had mac and cheese that you can get like brisket in there, you can get like buffalo chicken. Mm -hmm. I got a bunch Barbecue of chicken. What's the, what's the best, shittiest mac and cheese you've ever had? The shittiest? The best oh. shittiest mac and cheese. The best shittiest? Yes. I mean, at one point, we got, uh, we didn't, but like our family had gotten, uh, what was it? Uh, the fucking the red things, the bacon bits. We got a bunch of bacon bits and they were putting it in everything. Put it in bacon, everything. Bacon, <laughs> bacon, mac and cheese. It got, it got gross eventually, but I'm sure. it was the best for a little bit. If that's answered your question, it was probably great value. Or it was a great value, like a microwave one or something? Was well, it the no, we had to make a big pan. We had like big ten pan. of us. Yeah. It was a tribe. Gotcha. I understand the I was talking like quick trip mac and cheese. Oh. Well, like no. that's like that's the best shittiest mac and cheese. Dude, I've yeah, ever. they actually well yeah because they put that cheese on top of it. Yeah. I like when they see and that's why you like the streetcar though they use like the queso cheese. The queso cheese. Now that's the other thing. What when you go to a Mexican restaurant, does it not piss you off when you they're like they. You order queso and they bring out yellow cheese. Oh yeah, no. dude, that Why like. Why would you do that? It's gotta be white. Yeah, Chewy's is like that on the plaza, <laughs> dude. <laughs> no, don't no. give me yellow cheese. If I wanted to have yellow cheese, I'd make it at home. I feel uh -huh. like I gotta go back and give it another shot, but it's like it really it grinds my gears. Yeah, it's not very good. Pull That's not very cool. I dude, want. What's the What's the new one we go to? Uh, I can't, I can't think of. It's something Mexican cafe there in Liberty. Okay. That's mm -hmm. right up your alley, dude. Hmm. It's right over by the Outback. And dude, they the, give the you Lowe's. a bowl. What? In the Lowe's. Oh yeah, in the Lowe's, they give you a bowl of queso, uh -huh. not yellow cheese, to start with two good things of salsa. And you for the moment, have to pay for the queso. They and, give it to you. They're open till ten, so like we can go there after I get out of the gym, because like the buffet closes at like <laughs> nine or like eight thirty. <laughs> so like, you know, we, we try to be respectful, not going there too late. Yeah. 45 too. Yeah. <laughs> but the buffet, the buffet lady, sometimes you can get away with like 20. Gotcha. You can get there at 20, you know yeah. what I'm saying? As long we'll as you be, tip them. We'll be quick. <laughs> <laughs> they know. <laughs> What's your go-to buffet spot? Uh, Asian buffet. Dude, right, yeah, dude, that's one, that's one of our spots. Asian buffet off of Berry Road. Yes. Yes. 
Yep, we try start trying up some new ones just because we were, we do we we were going to like two three times a week sometimes. It's mm. bad. Yeah. We have a problem. Have you ever been at Senzedius in Overland Park? Not at all. It's an Italian buffet. Ooh, it's crazy. It's different types of food though. So Overland like, Park would great. have one of those. It's, it's nice, it's, dude. Yes. It's like all stone flooring and like it looks like you're and they're just cooking nonstop. I have to get that address from you. Yeah. Dude, it's, yeah, that one's fire. But I'll it, travel. It's I'll like, travel. It's like twenty dollars for the buffet, buffet and just like, but that's what Golden Crow is. But Golden Crow's trash compared to this. Uh, twenty yeah. bucks, dude. You're eating all kinds of, yeah. you know. They, they have like a crepe station. They'll make crepes right in front of you. Oh, oh shit! What's the little thin pancakes? Yeah. yeah. They you got put, some good. It's just like different tasting stuff too. Like so, it's good. It's fire. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's, <laughs> well, we don't have. We do gotta eat one. I got something on the stove, but we can set that aside. No, that's no. okay. Oh no, don't you, you? That's the thing. You can't put something like that in the air if you aren't if you don't mean it. I thought about it. I'm sorry. We might. <laughs> Another you, day. You've been to the Joy Walk buffet there in Liberty, or not? Li yeah, Liberty, right there across from Walmart. Well, I, pro I thought that's got. How many times has that been shut down? Brother, you don't yeah, look at that. So many times. <laughs> you don't look at that, and you don't. That's the thing. You don't question the kitchens. We've been yeah, in the back of a uh, like a Chinese kitchen, and we uh -huh. saw it. And it was so bad, but we were like, we did. Our parents were doing work for them, and so it was just like, whatever. We still ate there. I didn't care as long as I don't. As long as there's not a roach in my food, I don't care. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Ah. There was a roach prior to. The you just camp, don't though. think about it. You're right. You don't think about it. You know it. how there's like a, a certain amount of bugs that's allowed to be in like most of your stuff. At least that's what I. I think we. I, I read it somewhere. Maybe it's the restaurants should start doing that, like, uh, here's your chef's profile, <laughs> you know, like on the menu or whatever. This is the chef that's cooking it for you. He's not a piece of shit at all. He just <laughs> owes three years of child support. <laughs> yeah, well, and think about how many people would have not got food at the comedy club if they saw like, your Who, picture. That would actually would be, be a funny idea to do that. I've gone up there in the guest spots and told them, hey... <laughs> is the food good? I was cooking it and then did my microwave joke. <laughs> I was like, you clean your microwave? No, I like it seasoned like cast iron skillet. <laughs> and they're like, is this dude in the back? <laughs> it's like, is the food good? Is the food good? It's all right. No, I was nasty. No, if I'd seen me in the back of the kitchen, I wouldn't order. <laughs> I wouldn't order from the menu. <laughs> He's like, I'll just take a water. <laughs> just don't let him bring it. <laughs> yeah, those thirster waters. Yeah. <laughs> I made a joke about that one time. It killed. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. You normally wear a beanie, don't you? I usually wore like a hat. I stopped wearing the hat this year. Are you well, Jewish? No. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just a nice, it's a really nice curl. Yeah. yeah. I'm actually, like, jealous. It's, I've been staring at it for, like, at least five minutes I've now. I've always got that, where people call me, thought, you know, I got the Jufro or whatever. No, I'm not. <laughs> Irish Catholic. Whatever. Irish Catholic. <laughs> kind of. That's where, my, that's what my family was. They were Irish Catholics, but. Is that hard to, is that hard to tame that beast? Dude, yeah, I use, it's a tin. I just get it wet and put some of tin in there, and that's about all I do. But I got to get it cut every couple of months, try to keep it down. I used to grow it out, and I've done dreads. I, did, I had a dreadlock phase. I had no a fro perm. phase. No perm. <laughs> that should be the next phase. I don't need no perm. <laughs> I've always said I wanted it. What was that stuff that they used in uh, Coming Coming to America? What was that? Uh, Jerry Curl or something? Well, no, what was the... Never mind. Never mind. It's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what they used, but it was like everybody had like curly hair. Yeah. Jerry Curl. Jerry Curl. It was Jerry Curl. Thank you. Yeah. I don't know about hair. <laughs> don't know about coming to America? I've seen it. Eddie Murphy? I've seen it. I, I, I've heard of it. I might know it if I see like see it again. No, I just use it to 10. It's what my wife recommended. And she's real cool with it. <laughs> you know, she's cool with it. She always gives me some good, good advice on how to look better. <laughs> Speaking of that, when did you, how long have you been married? In August, it'll be four years. We've been married four years already, but we've been together 13 years in August as well. So you just trapped her when she was young? She trapped me. <laughs> I don't want to hear none of that. <laughs> She's the one who got me. 
<laughs> I don't know who got who, but <laughs> who's older? Uh, technically, I am by a month at all. Like I was born in December '92, and she was born in January '93. Oh, I didn't think you were that old. Damn, so you're almost thirty. I'm thirty. I am thirty. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I'm like, I thought you were like 25, 26. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. I'm going to hold on to that as long as I can. You should keep wearing like the, the stoner clothing. Go back to that. Oh, man. People think I'm younger. They always call me buddy. <laughs> you know, <laughs> buddy. Like, I'm older than you. And they're like 22. They're like, good job, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my new. I use buddy all the time. Hey, and I don't mind. I don't mind. Everybody call. I'll, be, I'll be anybody's buddy. I know. It pisses me off when someone's like, don't call me bud. <laughs> don't call I think me he bud. He does that to me sometimes. Like, don't call me bud. No, oh, maybe it doesn't. Someone does. Someone does. <laughs> <laughs> I used uh, to not like it. I don't know why. They don't bother me with much no more. I used to not like people to call me bud if I didn't respect them. Right? Yeah. So maybe whoever doesn't respect you, make them respect you. <laughs> so then... You guys what? Did you guys meet in like middle school or was it high school? High school. We met in high school. Theater department. That was cool. We were in theater. We were theater kids. Yeah, we got together at the beginning of senior year. Super nice. cool. Did you have any girlfriends before that? Yeah, actually, she took. She kind of ripped me away from the one I had in junior year. A little bit. She just coerced me out of that one <laughs> and then <laughs> took me over. You know, so. Good for you guys, going strong. Been together 13 years, that's crazy. Yeah, no, it's definitely cool. Uh, Over a decade. Patience, compromise, and, you know, just kind of learning each other. She's my best friend, you know. Well, she's cool with the comedy and all that and stuff and everything, right? Yeah, she lo Yeah, she, she's uh, very supportive of my dreams and everything, so yeah, she I'm, always... I know. Uh, I'm pretty sure I had to serve her a few times at the comedy club. She's nice. No, she's really nice. I, I never... <laughs> any problems but you know I'm glad I knew she, I knew she was your wife though uh -huh. people told me I was a weird guy at the comedy club <laughs> <laughs> there's a different face there was a different face what did you hit on everybody yeah yeah I did didn't hit you? on your wife though that's okay I, I promise I, I don't think I did <laughs> I don't think I did <laughs> there, was a, there was a lot of women then. Hey, man I don't blame you if you did <laughs> <laughs> there was there's a couple others that you know their girlfriends would come in but like you would luckily normally they sit in the back so you would know uh-huh but I wasn't like that weird about it. Sure. But I did leave my number a few times. Did you? Did yeah, you? I didn't get any text back. Damn. I'm like, does that ever work? <laughs> the oh, there was a fun. I've, I've been so out of the game. I don't know how the game works. It's so weird. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> the the funny one is is uh, I guess I'll say her name. I don't care. April at the comedy club. You okay. Her? Okay. So she had came in like several weeks before, and she was just like sitting in there like with. Uh, just watching a show and I was working and I left my number and she like uh, ended up like texting me and then she ended up starting at the comedy club so like a couple weeks later so I and like she talked to me and like stuff and then she stopped talking to me and then she started working at the comedy club <laughs> so like she walked in one day like to start you know how awkward that was for me I bet that's when I was like, okay, Dakota, you gotta calm down. <laughs> you gotta calm you down. You gotta calm down. <laughs> you're about to, you're about to uh, shit where you eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, but it was fun. I, yeah, there were some fun, fun times there. There's some fun times there. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I, I got a policy. I forgot about eating or shitting where I eat, you know what I mean? <laughs> I do, I got a buddy that... Uh, well, what about your house? You shit at your house? You I at your shit house. at my house, but I don't eat in the bathroom. Sometimes I get some cereal just but to kind of go faster in the morning. <laughs> I'll shit and eat a bowl of cereal at the same time. <laughs> you got to speed things up a little bit. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> so actually, I, I do eat in the bathroom sometimes. So Not like full on, but it's like, if I just make my food, I got to take a poop. I'm not like... It, yeah, okay, we're not going to talk about it. <laughs> That's all right. We'll cut it out. <laughs> no. You <laughs> said leave We're going to cut that. <laughs> I don't do it all the time. I'm actually, luckily, like, I'm, like, talking to people that are, like, clean people now. Yeah. So, like, I actually use hand sanitizer pretty frequently sometimes. I try not to be like the people that are that are at my apartments. <laughs> if my house looks anything like those apartments, <laughs> I'm not doing something right. 
For a second, it, I thought you lived in the apartment. The way you said that. Was like, oh no, the no. Big mansion. No, I live in my dad's house. <laughs> We're trying to get our own house. They charge you rent? Uh, no, he's actually really. Cool. Well, we pay for like groceries, and I, I do, I fix anything that breaks or whatever, and he's real cool about it. We fucking cook dinner and do all kinds of stuff. Pay a few bills. We throw him some money, but it's nothing crazy. Not like we'd be, you know. How much EBT you get a month? EBT? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just kidding. I wish, man. Maybe if uh, yeah, if Amanda was like a single mother, <laughs> she might have got EBT. But well, see, that's where you screwed up marrying before you had a kid. You, you got to milk the system. Well, <laughs> even even Amanda's told me to hook up with a, a single mother with two kids. You know what I mean? <laughs> just for the EBT. <laughs> He's like, you don't got to tell her about me. <laughs> She's like, we just need that food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get the name brand stuff. Get Reese's Puffs get the, again. Dude, you can get the name brand stuff. They, uh, those are good cards. I remember buying some stuff. My, one of my friends had it, and we used to buy shit all the time. It was great. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I, like, when you actually use it, like, yeah. when you need it, you know what I'm saying? That's when it's cool and stuff. But, yeah. Well, people would buy. People would buy with the <laughs> food stamps, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all the time. I got, uh, I guess I'm not interested. I, I, took, I, I took food stamps. Oh yeah! I, oh yeah! That's what I said. Yeah, I was like, I'd go, like, I'll actually, I'll actually spend that. Something you paid like twenty bucks for, you get like one hundred fifty dollars in food stamps. <laughs> <laughs> you like feel bad, no, you know, and then like you see their, but no, you go, you it's go. Whatever and, you want to do, man. They're literally shopping with you with their kid, and you're like, man, I hope this kid has food. <laughs> but then they're probably again big ball and probably three hundred dollars a month in food stamps. Who knows? Don't let it get. You just can't think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't you, think about it that deep. <laughs> when you're in the game, you can't have morals. <laughs> no morals. No morals. <laughs> uh, that's, those were the days. Yeah, right. <laughs> you thr a thrift shopper? Thrift shopper? I'm a, I'm a, I like a good thrift store. Um, that's where my go to fancy clothes. Best, fr best thrift store find. Go. Probably when I found my friend doing an upper decker in a Salvation Army bathroom. Good find. <laughs> Did he really do that? Yeah. He, sh he shit in the toilet? He shit in the, in the top, top, in the the top part. Yep. Yep, in the tank. And, uh, and then they closed the bathrooms to public forever. What's your, what's your best thrift store find? Probably that lakeside jagging. Lakeside jagging. There's just like a vintage jagging from a close by race jagging. Yeah. You like racing? Racing's all right. Uh, I stopped watching uh, NASCAR when uh, Dale Earnhardt died. When you're eight. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Or, yeah. Maybe. Yep. Yeah. I don't know. I'm. <laughs> yes, I, when I was eight. <laughs> NASCAR's not like the best. I like dirt yeah. racing. I'm a dirt racing guy. I don't watch races anymore. Not since the accident. <laughs> That's. It's not funny, but it's funny. <laughs> since Dale Earnhardt, that was the accident. It wasn't yeah. mine. I, well, I no, didn't I know the, the way. Like it could have went either Dale. way. The way you said, it, yeah. <laughs> but Dale, come on. Yeah. Sad no. day. You remember watching that race? I was two. I didn't know the gravity of that. I was two. Yeah. I didn't know the gravity. I, I didn't. Well, you, it's still like it's still kind of weird because it's still to this day like too soon. Well, they just like it's a huge deal though. Still like you know. Like, oh yeah. And he still sells merch. Oh hell. Yeah. It's not like it was like right after that, you know, even like probably five uh, even ten years after that, like his merch was like you could sell it for crazy, but now it's like people are just giving that stuff away, like the old stuff. Mm hmm It's like it's kinda crazy, but it kinda comes back around. Everything comes back around every once in a while. Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, but that's also now you're at like twenty years I guess, so isn't it? What it was two thousand one, so you're twenty two years? Yeah. But yeah, darn near. Has it been that long already? Gosh. Yeah. What's your best find? My best find. There's been so many. Probably I found like these uh, purple Nike shoes, and they were, you could tell like, they were like the, the breast cancer shoes, and so probably like a rich kid got them for basketball, uh -huh. and they wore them for like that month of the breast cancer awareness, and because they were never worn. They're like brand new. Where do you go? Do you go over to like the Overland Park thrift stores? Yeah, there's some good ones over there. Cause but those are the best ones. We're over like where the Richie Richie neighborhoods yeah. are. Liberty's, uh, Liberty's, uh, not Liberty's. Uh, yeah, Liberty's uh, Savers is. Savers. 
they're cheaper than the Clay Como one. Uh -huh. You can sometimes find some good clothes if you're willing to pay a little bit more to at uh, Plato's Closet. It's funny, we got a whole conversation about thrift stores on the last podcast, too. <laughs> <laughs> you guys love thrift stores, huh? That's gonna be like the question I ask everyone. You guys That's not bad. That's all right. I remember finding a Dale Earnhardt cup at at a thrift store, and man, I just I couldn't pass it by. It was three dollars. Like that's a steal. You look online, and people want it for a hundred bucks. You know, so it's in this Dale Earnhardt. Can't pass up Dale. What would Dale do? He said, "Buy my cup." So I did. So what's your favorite thrift store in Oakland Park? Overland Park? Oh, I don't know. We haven't gone over there, but I keep oh, hearing yeah. like good things that like just to go over there. <laughs> you should go over yeah. there. There's a lot of good stuff because it's rich people throwing well, their shit away. Missing that restaurant over there, dude. Yeah. Overland Park. That's what I'm going to do. The buffet. We're going to do the Italian buffet and then go get us some uh, some hand me downs. Their, their mall's dope too. From these rich kids that have no trauma. Uh -huh. You know. <laughs> These kids, they ain't got no trauma. They don't even remember Dale Earnhardt <laughs> or the crash. They don't even know what a race car is. They don't even know NASCAR. Their dad, well, their dad no, doesn't no. beat them. <laughs> These uh, kids don't know trauma. Did you grow up there in, in Gladstone? In Gladstone, yeah. Yes, yeah, so we grew up in small towns. Small town? Yeah, like uh, Leeton, Missouri. Mm -hmm. I, oh, I ain't never heard that. Well, you went, it's like, it's not, it's not Warren, yeah, it's basically almost like, it's a little bit bigger than the time you went and did that show with me at, uh, that was oh, Quarter. Yeah. Well, no, what, what, where did, no, it's not Quarter. What town's that? May, Mayview. Mayview. Yeah, uh, so yeah. It's, it's like probably twice the size of that, but they have a school. <laughs> Dude, that thing was like 200, the, the, the population sign was like 200. I was just 566. Six, six, six. It was 619 when we moved in, but then it moved down to 566. They finally, it's, you know, it's a crappy time when they got a Dollar General finally. Really? And they originally had a Casey's. That was all Casey's and a little, like, food restaurant that our friend's mom owned. Man. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Who had the nicest house? Not us. Well, we had a, basically a mansion. Uh-huh. Yeah, because we had, like, downtown buildings. Oh, so, okay. So you had the two bottoms, and then the, the upstairs apartment. Had a huge loft. Some old, old buildings and such? Yeah. yeah. Our mom's boyfriend was lazy, though, so we just, like, stuff never got fixed. But it wasn't, like, rent hella cheap. Dude, yeah, I was talking to my mom, because I was, like, wondering, like, how much it was, because there's a whole, like, story we got, like, kicked out of this, because, like, it's a whole thing. Wow. But we didn't get kicked out. It was because he, like, kicked us out. Even though my mom paid for everything. It's a whole. I'm not going to get into it, I guess. Yeah, I just asked about rent. <laughs> <laughs> it was like 500 bucks a month. Moral of the story. For two, for two giant buildings. Yeah, but then he even like left the situation. Now, by the time things were done, though, it, it had gotten bad. There was, like, it was a, a weird but situation. But we moved out, like, I think some like, meth heads moved in and it burned down. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's good enough for meth heads, though. That's the yeah, moral story. So. Well, that's a good story. <laughs> There's a lot shout of out fucking out shout out to Disney. <laughs> <laughs> Disney, you want to cop this story? <laughs> <laughs> we twist it into something good. <laughs> like a Dale Earnhardt tribute. Huh, Disney? <laughs> Isn't that what Cars is about? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh. oh, shit. What's up? What, what are we at time-wise over there? Um, we're at 44, and it's pushing the speakers a little louder. Oh, man, I should have under the mic. No, it's, it's good. It's still good. But... Awesome, yeah. That's why I was, like, looking at the mic, but I wasn't, like... I thought it was going to fall. So it going to fall. <laughs> you, uh, play any instruments? Oh, no. I mean, I've, uh, over the last, like, few years, I've, uh, been teaching myself how to freestyle. Just like in the car on the way back and forth to work, I'm not gonna freestyle. No, that's that was actually part of the segment I was about to. Uh -uh. We had a beat already queued up. Last year, I mean, last episode we did. <laughs> it's funny. Uh, we could if you want. Uh, I've never freestyled in front of anybody. Dude, we um, should we should at the end we should like to, we'll, we'll walk out, we'll play the beat, and then you're gonna close the episode. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, like I want you, I'm gonna use it as the the intro video for all my videos from now on. No way! Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> No, I mean I just did it so I could. I learned. I tried to learn how to do it so I could be faster, like with my, yeah, on, my stage. on stage, like so quicker thinking and, and stuff too. So 
But I've been, th I mean, I've been thinking about recording stuff, but I'm still just, I can't believe, like, I can get up and do all these fucking dick jokes in front of people, but I can't, like, I'm so nervous to try and, like, freestyle in front of somebody. Did you ever do yeah. crowd work? Oh, yeah, I do crowd work all the time. I got a rap battle coming up. I know, I've seen that. I you want to come to it. Oh, you've seen it, but he didn't like the post. What do you mean? <laughs> yes, I did. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Maybe you probably did. <laughs> No, uh, yeah, that's you gonna be... <laughs> <laughs> what a dude. <laughs> it's a, uh, that's gonna be a weird one because I like I knew I signed up for it, but I had he didn't respond back to my last message, so I was like, okay, this isn't going down. Like, I dodged a bullet on that one. I talked myself up pretty good, and I was like, good, I you know weathered the storm. Mm -hmm. But then like I just saw the flyer that like literally yesterday or whatever, and I was like, shit, I guess we're doing a rap battle. Oh fuck! It's only one round, but I think I got some. I think I got some good good ideas. I'm just gonna go cop. Comedy, yeah. Like a comedy approach. Like a roast them, like you like you like to do, you know. Who's it against? Domo Hyphy. I don't even know. He battled someone that wasn't. I think someone that wasn't too bad. I don't. I don't know who. <laughs> He's not. He doesn't have like a lot of good like uh, punches. He's has a lot of like from do the you, battle I watched. Was you got a rap thing? Dakota Hilton. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> I'm a conceited person. Conceited person, I got you. His first video is so funny because yeah. everyone always shouts out all these people, and then he's they're like, "What's your name? Dakota." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't say Hilton. Like, Dakota. <laughs> yeah, you can watch those on YouTube. Dakota Hilton. Cool. Those are. There's actually the one versus Young Royalty was my my best battle. That was, that was fun. But that was again. That's also a weird thing to think about. I've battled for six to seven years. Yeah. So. But I feel like going on stage in the comedy is the same thing. And that's why I like working at the gym, actually, because there's sometimes there's 10, 20 people in class, and, like, I will, like, try to make dumb little jokes. And, like, that's a whole takes a whole other level of confidence, too. So, mm -hmm. like, I think that helps me with it. I think, I think I'm going to end up winning for sure. Yeah. So. Man, I mean, dude, just public speaking, it all goes kind of hand in hand. Whatever mm -hmm. it is, yeah, kind of does like your confidence booster. Like there's people that come to open mics, like do comedy, just, even though they're doing public speaking, you yeah. know, because the comedy helps them. Right. You should do a, a rap battle. I think you do go with that. I might, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I'd like to. I'd like to. Uh, it's one of those things you don't got to. Who cares if you even go there and choke? You know what I'm saying? It's just go and just do it. Just to do it. Say you did it. Yeah. Either That'd be way, cool. Funny. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I could get you on something so easy, especially with you, because like I know you're like reliable. That's the problem sometimes with some of the battles. Those when you write and then the dudes don't show up. Uh -huh. I'll bat, dude. Actually, I battle you. I think that'd be funny. We so can make how it super do funny. you do it? So how does just, the battle work? So it's not free. It's not freestyle. You literally write like you could do like schemes or uh -huh. you know whatever, just funny. Dude, they even have like a compliment battle. We could do that. That would be you literally just compliment huh, each other. That's a, a, the thing that people do now. Get me out yeah. of my, get me out of my little, you know, fear of doing it. Because I have been wanting to record. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you get the right person to like, if you battle me, like, there's so much stuff. I post everything on Facebook, so there's so much stuff you can make fun of me for. Uh huh. <laughs> like, so it's like it'd be, be fun. And actually, then we could just do it ourselves. Do it with a comedy show. Do too, that roast. Do it on the roast show that we're yeah. gonna do for you. Get all your buddies. Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be a good time. Yeah. Well, shit, dude. Uh, you're a ring guy. I'm a ring guy. You got uh, a motorcycle? No. Well, I don't. No. Nope. <laughs> Dad is. I want to get my motorcycle license and I, but it, I just I don't have no motorcycles. I just rode on my permit. Uh -huh. I, had a, I had a Honda Shadow for a while. It was pretty cool. Trying to pay off the car I have now, and maybe I'll get a fucking motorcycle after I pay off that car. How much you owe? Man, I only owe, what is it, like, fucking like eight or nine grand or something. I'll have it paid off by next year. That's what I owe, but it's um, an 05 Mazda. And, uh, yeah, whew, yeah, the car's not even worth 1500 bucks. <laughs> Upside down. <laughs> yeah, but it was also because, like, I had the truck loan tied into it. My mom bought the truck, and it's this whole thing. But... Uh, it's planned to be paid off in three years. And it's at Perfect. 200, at least 220,000 miles. So at least you got a plan, my man. <laughs> if anyone wants to buy a, an 05 Mazda for like so four grand. Slightly grand, used. Slightly used. <laughs> get like, get Butterbean and take a dump in it or something. Dude, he left his monster, one of his monster cans in my car and I almost kept it. Last time he was in my car. Yeah. You might, you might want to. You never know. Like just like I got butter beans fart in this jar, <laughs> and he's like, I'll sell you, I'll throw it in with the Mazda. 
See, now that's the thing. Honestly, though, you gotta like people like think stuff like that's dumb. But if you like just know the right people, you can sell dumb. Dude, our friend, our friend is literally getting scammed by girls. Like, dude, she like wants gas money, and it's like, but then she stops talking to me, and it's like he's actually sending them money, dude. I know, and it's like, can't believe that. I can't believe some of that stuff. I'm not. Well, I do believe it because there are people. It's whatever you put value in. There's people that bought Beanie Babies for ten thousand dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, so it's like whatever that person puts value in. There's one chick I can't remember her name, but she was like putting her bath water in jars, and fucking made like twenty thousand dollars off of bath water in jars. I could. I feel like I could sell my under bridges. They it, got a good stank to them. There is a market. <laughs> There's a consumer that wants your under bridges. How much you got? It's 30 bucks. It, it helps me forget about Dale. So, <laughs> journalism? Probably something like that. Yeah, yeah. You got, is that like a style of journalism? Oh, yeah. I was like, we got you. Uh, did you go to journalism school? We just we just caught you. No, it's just something I heard. I picked up listening. Did you go to college? I'm like a toddler. I just hear it from somewhere and then it spits out. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I just repeat it. Don't actually know what it means. Did you go to college? Not at all. Damn. I, di I didn't do college, I did drugs. That's smart. That is a smarter way to go. Expand your mind. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> I expanded I, my mind in another way. I tried, it wasn't. The math classes, I didn't like that. I just didn't, we didn't have money. I didn't do a scholarship thing or anything. I barely skated by getting my diploma, so, you know. Is one of those things. I think uh, I ended up going into like the trades and stuff, and I found a lot more success in that. So yeah, yeah. I, so I, there's a lot of certifications. I think I am gonna go back to school, but it'll be for some maintenance stuff. So like fixing heat or furnaces or something. Yeah, I got my EPA certification, but they got some other things so that I can actually do it on my own. Because eventually, that's what I'd want to do is like branch off, do my comedy but have my own little handyman business also at the same time. Well, if you could just get people you trust, you just make people work for you. Yeah, exactly. That's what I need to. But I have to have, like, the licenses, and people can work under my license oh, and yeah. everything. So I was going to get my master plumbers, right? And I think I'm going to get my master mechanics. So go back to school and get that stuff. That'd be sick. Yeah. But everything that I've learned, man, dude, I've bumped. I'm glad I learned all the maintenance stuff I have because it's like, for real, I don't have to pay anybody to do it. It's like, I'm going to save myself thousands of dollars. Oh, yeah. So. Yeah, that would... So I'm glad I didn't go to college. I just went into trades and learned how to do it the hard way, you know? So. Yeah, I tried to go. It was paid for. I basically got like a free $1,900 that I don't know if they're going to try to come. I don't think I ever have to pay it back, but fingers crossed. They... Student forgiveness. It's, well, no, this is like just last year. I just I just quit last in like January. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to go. Oh. Yeah, I passed. I, I passed. Uh, I got an A in my history class. This shit's rough. Yeah. Shit's rough out here. Well, and they make you actually the online stuff is so dumb. What do you mean online? The online classes, because oh. dude, the one I took, like, you think that they would have videos with it, but no, like they didn't even do lectures. It was like read the book, do the work. Damn. And so I was just Googling answers. You get a test. Okay. Yeah. I think I got like 10 out of like 80 on, on, the, <laughs> on the final. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> but luckily it's like a weighted grade, so I still got a C. Because <laughs> it's like 25% test, 25% this, 50% homework or something. That would be stressful. You pay all that money just to like fail a fucking class. You don't get anything out of it. Luckily, community college is only like 200 bucks a class. Really? Thing. So yeah, that's why I was doing it. Oh. And they gave me money, so it was all paid for. And I just fucked it off. Huh. Yeah. So hey, if you you might be able to try to get it get in there and get that federal federal aid money and you just do it and you go say you're gonna go full time, you'll get probably close to three grand, sign up for full time classes, pay that, and you'll have like twelve hundred bucks. And then drop free. out and then the immediately drop out. Yeah. yeah. Don't even show up to class. Just make well you <laughs> might have to show up for the first two weeks. Just, get the money. Just then keep drop the out. money. This is fraud. Right. This has gotta be fraud. Well, I didn't intend it. I didn't drop out on purpose. I didn't intend. No intention. That's You'll fair. get it. You'll get there. Well, You'll get there. Well, this is a weird way to uh, end it, but we probably should be wrapping it up because we're getting close to an hour. I'm getting hungry. Yeah.
Got any shout outs or any plugs? Oh, uh. I mean, you already did your dates, but. I did do the dates on it already. But uh, yeah. Shouts out. Shouts out to my, my guy here in August, uh, bruh, Dakota Hilton's Butterbean Bash. Birthday Butterbean Bash. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. He didn't say that with his original dates. He's like, <laughs> I thought oh, I, I just remember. I was just doing June. I did. Uh, I got through June. I had July, and then I was going to August. <laughs> we'll get there. But yeah, in August, we got the Butterbean Bash. We're gonna do. That's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna be sick. And oh, well, I'm not gonna talk too much about that yet. But it's gonna be sick. He's gonna be on that. Uh, where they? Where can they find you? You can find me on Facebook, Mick Rice Hall, and Instagram, Mick Fried Rice. What's, and, your, what's your picture on Facebook? A uh, picture on Facebook. It's me uh, in a rum ham t-shirt. In a, uh, it's like this stump that they cut out into like a chair. It was great. They put the, they put a log, or a little stump right here. I was chilling. So well, you should be back. able to find. You should be able to find that. <laughs> so if that, hope that makes sense. If you can't, the the Instagram. Instagram. Chicken fried rice. Or Mick fried rice. Mick fried Chicken fried chicken rice. Fried. <laughs> I want chicken. Is that a thing? Chicken fried rice? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess chicken fried Yeah. Rice. Shitty oh, chicken. But you can uh, also find me, Dakota Hilton, on Facebook. Uh, the Hilton Highlights podcast is on YouTube, Spotify, and most streaming services. And uh, you can also find him at the Real Twitch on Instagram. And he has a Facebook as well. The realist. But he has a Facebook, and I can tell you. Peace out. Yep, have a good one.